And you need to count on yourself that you have the ability really to connect yourself to the, through the roots of your soul. Because how are you going to connect yourself to the Creator if not through the roots of your soul? If not through the roots of your soul, how are you going to connect yourself to the Creator? He created you and He wants you to be connected to Him. So the only way that you can do it is through yourself. And yourself, your inner connection, is an inner connection, is through your soul, through your emotions, through your thoughts. So you must count on yourself and to work and to fight on that, to be who that you are. And not to let no one, even if he's going to be called the righteous man of the generation, the greatest one of the generation, the most important, the most accepted, the mo I'm sorry, I will not going to let him turn me off because I want also to have my connection with the Creator. And I do feel that it exists. I do feel that when I'm dancing, that when I'm happy, that when I'm singing to myself. A couple of days ago, I went to do it Bodhidut, and I felt like I can't speak. I don't have no words. And a few days before, my wife and I, we heard a certain song, and I had that tune in my, in my, in my head, right? and, it, and it's a regular song. It's not a song of prayer. But I just kept on thinking about that music and I was playing it to myself in my mind. And then I said to myself, you know, maybe you're going to pray with that music. And I just start singing to myself in the field at night, ba basing my prayer on, the, on that tune, on that music. And I was just singing to Hashem. My own prayer, in my own language, with my own things, with my own way, with my own music, with the music that I like. It wasn't Hasidic music, it wasn't music of Breslev, and especially not of Rabbi Nachman of Bre It was just a random song that my wife and I, we like. So I just used the music to open myself, that, and, and it gave me, and it, and it was the key. It just it opened the gates of it, but the dude, for me. And in that night, I made a wonderful it, but the dude. And only because of that, only because that I followed my heart. I was allowing myself to be who that I am. In front of that rabbi, to do it what they do like that. No, that people... When you're with Hashem, and that's what you want to be, with Hashem, so you must be who that you are. Because if you're not going to let yourself be who that you are in front of Hashem, so you're lying to Hashem. And a liar person cannot stand in front of the Creator. Dover shkarim loikon leneged A liar person cannot stand in front of the Creator. And even if you feel embarrassed with your truth, it's time to work on your self-esteem. And just to understand that God he loves you, unconditional love, as who that you are. And He doesn't want to change you. And He doesn't want to make you different. He just wants you to be who that you are. If He would want to make you different, He would create you different. Or He would change you. It's in the abilities of the Creator to create and design the creations as He wish. And if He keeps you as you are, with your sense of humor, and with your lackings, and with your thoughts, and even with your fears, it means that that's how He wants you to be. And it doesn't mean that you cannot want to change, or to work on yourself, or to, but you need to climb up from who that you are. And you need to grow. So first of all, you need to accept that creation. You need to accept yourself. I have my weaknesses. One person sees cars, that's it. He's losing his mind. Other one, he sees money, he's losing his mind. Another person, he feels like he can receive honor. That's it. He's, 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 he's out of his mind. He will do everything to receive a compliment, to, to get one good word from someone. That's him. That's you. It can be me. And if I'm not going to accept my lackings, if I'm not going to see who that I am, I will never going to be able to solve my problems. Because your problems are coming with a reason, and there's a purpose to it. And you need to work on yourself, and to rebuild yourself. To recover from your pains, from your sorrows, from your injuries, even if they're severe injuries, deep problems deep to the roots of your creation, of who that you are, You're, you grew up to be bent, to be awkward, to be weird, to, to, to not, not, not right. Okay, great. You need to work on that. Exactly those are the things, those are your missions in life. On those points you need to work. 
And if you're going to keep on de denying and fighting with yourself and trying to, no, I'm not, no, I, no, I remember, but you don't. So when we're going to ask you, okay, so what's the number? You're not going to have the answer. So why to act like you remember when you don't? No, I can do it. You, if you're not, so why to play? You can say, I want to. I'm afraid I'm going to forget. Can I write it for myself? Be honest. Be who that you are. I'm walking with piles of, of notes in my pockets because I know that I can forget. I have piles of notes in my phone because I know that I can forget. So I'm reminding myself and I'm using technology and I'm using a pen and a, and, and a paper and, and I'm just reminding myself that I won't forget. Because if it's important to you and you want to achieve it, what do you want to achieve? The honor, the result, the success, or you, want to, you really want to do it? You want to be honored on, 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 on that thing even if you haven't accomplished it or that you really want to accomplish? Do you want the reward on the mitzvah or you want the mitzvah itself?